<laughs> Thank you so much, Joe. That was an amazing way to, to end this yeah. event, isn't it? It's um, brilliant. Right. Um, I don't be quite believe it, but we are actually um, <laughs> at the very end. And uh, I guess I just um, want to take this opportunity to thank everybody who has contributed um, to this. And, um, so obviously, the first people I want to thank would be Amir and Kian. I mean, it's been absolutely great working as a trio. <laughs> and um, yeah, he, he's getting a bit of a state shy, but yeah. he's going to come up. And, um, and obviously very much I'd like to thank um, DeepMind for making this amazing uh, venue and facilities available to us, all of you guys, um, um, to make this a success, so that's great. <laughs> and, um, and, I, I, and I obviously uh, been reminded as well that I need to thank the steering committee who, who gave us a steer on all the content that you have um, seen today is, is not by accident. Uh, and there's a large group of people I'm not going to mention um, by name. And you are actually part of the steering committee as well because we had over, I can't remember now, nearly 200 people who replied back to our original Google form to help us direct the content and prioritize it. So we're very proud that we engaged widely and hope that will be a model that we can take forward with interoperability uh, as well. So thank, thank you all of you for that. And um, a special mention to the lecturers, and, and, and those of you, you will know who you are, but you, you put so much work into this, and you know, none of, nobody was paid, and everyone is coming in their own, uh, you know, given their own time, and, and you could see the amount of work they have gone in and how they put the thread of Michael's story through. I must say that when we thought about the idea of such, no way that's going to happen. We, we weren't convinced that people were going to stick to but the story. But my goodness, so you've, but they you've, did. you've done it and you've done it beyond. So that, that's, that's absolutely great. Um, so I think that's most of the thank yous. Is um, there anyone? Else? Also, yeah. just importantly, um, we do want to mention the evening sponsors, Orion oh, yes. Health, IMS mm -hmm. Maxims, and EMIS Health, because um, and many of you have benefited and enjoyed uh, the speakers in the evening, the, the food, the location, the ability to network. We couldn't have done that at all without their help either. So could, please could you show you know, your appreciation for them. And, and uh, a call out from us for further help because we do want to do another summit next year. So we do need your support through any network, any channel that you have to run an event like this. It does cost money. So show us the money. <laughs> <laughs> And we will put on another. <laughs> we'll put on another event. Yeah. So um, the other thing to say is that feedback is absolutely crucial to us. And if everything goes to plan, about two minutes ago, a feedback form would have been uh, emailed to everyone. So please. Re Sorry. Half three. Half past three. It is three minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, feedback should be going out, and uh, you will get a certificate of attendance um, emailed to you when you do that, and obviously that comes together with the CPD points. And I once again mention T-shirts. You, you, you put your order for the T-shirts through, um, through the feedback yeah. form. Um, Please so do the feedback forms. It's all fresh in your mind. Be honest, be open, mm -hmm. and uh, share what you would like to be different and how you felt things went. So I'm um, just a closing comment uh, personally. On, uh, yesterday I was um, sitting there. I think I was watching. I think I was watching Matt. I think presenting on stage, and I was just kind of taking a seat back. Say, this thing is actually happening, and it's amazing. And and I've never had. A, I've never had a child yet myself, but it feels a bit like a child. <laughs> uh, and there's a certain pride in it. And um, and and, uh -huh. and and they they say they say it takes a village to 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 uh, to grow up a child. And I like to think. This is the village, and yeah. we'll grow from here. So that's all I have to say for, for this conference. Yeah. Thank you. And um, could you put my slide deck up, please? So just, um, you know, well done, everybody, for, you know, tweeting, putting, uh, you know, your hearts into those tweets and taking pictures and sharing what we've done. Again, this is all in the spirit of transparency, openness. Um, there is so much content on, on the Twitter account. Um, we're absolutely grateful, and we will put content on the website. Just wanted to end with um, sort of a narrative that started for me at the beginning, which was... I mean, sorry to interrupt. Just yeah. one thank yeah. you, which I forgot, then you can yeah, go, go on. Louise and her team. Yes. <laughs> uh, sorry, my God, how can I forget? The, re uh, the Reddit team. It's, um... Anyone else? Yeah. Tom. Yes, Tom. and our cartoonist. Oh, so cartoonist please, Tom. Tom at the back. Well yeah. done. 
All the cartoons will be on the website. Yeah. Uh, we have to say that with, with this, we have, as again, we have never met everybody who has been part of this in one room. We have used iMessage, text, uh, FaceTime, a Google chat, um, emails, Skype to do all of this. And we've just, you know, it's all been done digitally. We have only met over weekends, <laughs> Christmas, I kid you not. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, not much. So, so, you know, it is absolutely a message is you do not need to travel to have meetings. You do not need to travel to create events. If anyone's asking you to travel an hour and a half to meet people, you can now say this event was done without that. So, you know, digital enablement, use it. You don't need to travel for meetings. So just back to my story. When I started, um, I talked about sort of mindfulness and meditation being really important for me. And I, you mentioned the words about people and culture. So I did meditate again last night, and it was brilliant because it was sort of very calming and peaceful. And there was another word, which is hope. So hope is another word for me, and I hope that all of you will actually take the learning from today and not just say it was a fantastic conference, I hope it was, but actually do something with that. Have the spirit and the energy to build on this community and take the interoperability agenda forward. Take the open standards agenda forward. You are part of this now. It's not us and them, it's all of us together. And I want to tell you something about hope because there's an 11 year old boy that I've met um, out there whose name is Sumner. And he hopes with his family to be alive next month, next year. But Sumner is um, unfortunate to have a very, very rare brain tumor. About only 40 children have this diagnosed every year. And Sumner hasn't had his genome unfortunately analyzed. Unfortunately, he hasn't had the data linked. Unfortunately, he hasn't had all his characteristics put together and analyzed to hopefully find the right cure. Hope. I hope all of you will help children like Sumner. And we all need to take steps forward together. So as part of this initiative to take the interoperability agenda forward, Please do your bit because I'm going to start taking some steps forward for Sumner and I'm going to run 106 kilometers around the Isle of Wight. So I hope that as part of this journey, you might sponsor and show your support for Sumner and his family to raise the profile of the need for data to be moved. And I hope together we will also take steps to come back and make a better initiative under the Interop Summit and the Interopen Banner. Thank you very, very much and safe journeys home.